Hey guys, welcome back to an Academy Need English channel. I hope all of you are doing great, having a good time. So, my dear students, as you know, finally, re-need is not going to happen, and it's the high time to move on now to start preparing for the NEET 2025 examination. And again, it's the high time to start the preparation on this an Academy Need English channel, which is never compromised when it comes to content, the finest quality content which you get across across the YouTube. That is the An Academy Neat English Channel for all of you. So now we are going to kick start our Neat 2025 preparation, and for the Neat 2025 preparation, a lot of other educators are also joining us with, in the Avengers team. And my dear students, today I am going to make you meet one amazing educator who is going to join us in the Avengers team with me, Yavar sir, Ambika ma'am, HSP sir, and. That finest educator is none other than your Sonali ma'am. Thank you so much, sir, for such a warm welcome. So, guys, as you all must be knowing, on this channel, it was me and HSP sir who was who were taking care of your subject chemistry, right? Now, Sonali ma'am also will be joining us for the same subject chemistry. Now, it's not going to be just two teachers for chemistry; it's going to be. Three for the subject chemistry, and my dear students, I have seen the content, the way Ma'am teaches. It's amazing. You are definitely going to fall in love with your subject chemistry, particularly when I talk about the inorganic chemistry, right? So now we are going to ask certain questions to Ma'am, right? I mean, you also should get familiar with what Ma'am is all about, from where she has studied, right? What is her passion, right? From when she has started teaching, etc., etc. We'll ask certain questions to Ma'am in this particular session. I hope you guys are super duper excited about it. I'm hoping the questions are simple, but yeah, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> questions are going to be simple. Yeah. Ma okay, so Ma'am, a uh, quick introduction about yourself. I would definitely want students to know more about you. Hello, students. Uh, so, as sir told you, my name is Sonali Malik. I am teaching in this industry for about five years for now. I am a post graduate in chemistry. And I'm mentoring students since five years, and in all these five years, what I've learned that the best way to connect to students is to actually take quick actions on their comments. Whenever I teach, they always give certain feedbacks, and whenever we work on them constructively, what I see that the connection between us just just grow up, and it works for us. So I guess in this channel also we'll work for the same. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Guys, as you know, this channel is known for the marathons, the mega marathons, nine, nine, <laughs> ten, ten, twelve, twelve hour marathons, and yeah. Ma'am is super ready for that. She's super duper excited to take these sort of marathons on your An Academy Need English channel. Yeah. Yeah. And at the same time, Ma'am, uh, you know, there's a myth about inorganic chemistry, right? I mean, people think it's all about mugging up, etc., etc. So how you you are going to make them fall in love with inorganic chemistry, particularly? I guess the biggest reason that people think that inorganic is all about cramming or mugging up is that they do not follow the exact sequence, right? People start reading p-block without yeah. reading chemical bonding and periodicity. So all these sequencing order actually, you know, result into the fact that they have to mug up. So if I'll tell them the proper order, the chronological order to read the things, I think definitely they will be able to understand it rather than cramming it. So I guess we're going to work on that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And ma'am, is it just going to be inorganic, or you'll be taking some of the chapters of organic as well? Because physical, I'm not going to let you touch because that's my part. <laughs> Actually, that is also my favorite part. <laughs> But yeah, uh, I'll take for organic as well, and uh, don't worry, uh, I'll make sure. By end of it, they'll start loving inorganic and physical, uh, organic, and inorganic more than physical. Oh, I'll make sure. <laughs> yeah. It's a tough competition, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, guys, uh, there are a lot of plans which are coming up for all the YouTube students of an Academy Need English channel, right? And in this particular session, we are not going to reveal anything of that. There will be a separate session taken wherein we are going to let you know the complete plan which we have made for all of you. We have sit together, right? We have made the plan for. Subject physics, chemistry, as well as biology, which we are going to reveal soon, right? So you stay tuned. But in this particular session, we are going to ask some more questions uh, to Ma'am so that we get to know more about her, right? Ma'am, what about your schooling, etc., etc.? We want you to like share something, yeah? 
So, so basically I am from Rewadi. It is a small town in Haryana. So I have completed my schooling from there. The school name is Modern School. So if I talk about school, I used to be a very studious student. Basically, I was a student who can study, can study for anything. Like if I have opted for commerce, I have studied with same intensity. So that is the reason when I have completed my class 12th, I actually scored 93%. I was good in all the three subjects, right? So I was like, what I want to take, like I am good in all the three subjects, but <laughs> then I got to realize that I don't know, I am just cramming the concepts in physics and just solving the mathematics problem without, you know, just applying any way. Yeah. So <laughs> I thought that chemistry will work for me and trust me, it was a blind decision I took in that moment of time. But later on, when I came into my graduation and post-graduation, I think it turned out to be the best decision because I'm actually starting uh, developing interest in it. So I think the interest which I have developed in myself for chemistry, I am ready to develop the same for my students. Right, and talking about my graduation and post graduation, I've just completed from Delhi University. So, the top uh, uh, environment and everything, I faced that. So, ma'am, uh, did you love the subject chemistry as a student or as a teacher? Which part is? I think when I started teaching chemistry, I've got to realize that the mugging up which I was doing in class 11th and 12th was because of the, you know, the teachers which I haven't got, the mm -hmm. level of teachers. And when I've started teaching myself, I got to know that everything is understandable. It's just that we are making it tough by thinking that we have to cram it. But I guess it's all about the teaching pattern. So I will say that I've started loving it even more when I became a teacher, for sure. Uh, I think, you know, why I chose the subject chemistry, yeah. it was just because of my teacher. The way he used to teach us, the way yeah. he used to make us things understand, that's the reason why I started falling in love in chemistry. Knowing that I'm from the B.Tech background, still I'm teaching chemistry, it is all the credits I must give to my teacher uh, because of whom I'm right now at this position teaching chemistry, right? So it's all, uh, see, normally students think, I mean, a lot of other people also think that chemistry itself is boring. Chemistry is a boring subject, but I would say it is the teacher who makes the subject interesting True. for you. Actually, it's a boring subject, but the teacher who trains you in the subject, he should make it interesting. Definitely, you guys are also going to fall in love in chemistry, right? And that's what ma'am has been doing from all these years. That's what we have been doing from all these years. That's what we are going to do in the upcoming years as well. Yeah. So ma'am, uh, now you are the part of the Avengers family now. Uh, since when you have been noticing this Unacademy Neat English channel and what do you love the most about this particular channel? So, so a few days back, I was just scrolling the videos of Unacademy Neat English channel and the thing I liked the most that usually in online platforms, you know, people don't give the content equivalent to offline, right? But what I've seen that the kind of questions and the level of questions and the kind of rich content which is uh, given of given on this channel is really exceptional. So I think we're going to work on the same thing. We are going to give the content uh, to the children, which is actually the optimum and the topmost one. So I'm hoping that we are able to deliver the same what we are saying, and let's see, kya hota? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So basically, uh, this channel is known for one more thing: starting everything from the scratch. Are basic. you going to start with the same? Yeah. So what I think that whenever we start things from basic, it's become it becomes very easy for the students to correlate, right? right? Mm -hmm. So that will be the uh, topmost priority: that starting and covering everything from scratch and basics. All right, ma'am. So one more question. Uh, are you teacher by choice or teacher by chance? I think it will be a mixture of both the things <laughs> because, you know, uh, since college, I used, I used to be an outspoken person. I was even uh, the president of my chemistry department in my graduation, yes. as well as in yes. post-graduation also. I was in I'm some... sitting with the president. <laughs> uh, fest organizing committee and everything. So I used to be an outspoken personality. So later on, when I started developing the interest in chemistry, and I think I will get to speak among so many people. So I thought that it will be an interesting thing to do. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I just came across and it worked for me. So ma'am, a lot of serious questions, etc, etc. Now they'll get to know more about you in the classes, I believe. But before wrapping this up, uh, is there any funny incident that has happened with you in the class? 
lot many times like <laughs> can you can you share one with the students yeah i still remember i was uh, teaching uh, you know a concept which was related to sodium amalgam so i just uh, wrote uh, N A H G, right? I think I, you, I think you can guess it, right? It happened with lot very educators. How many elements? <laughs> yeah. So they told that ma'am, this with the three element hai. one uh-huh. sodium, one H hydrogen. But ma'am, what is this A N G? Uh-huh. So it took me a while to get over it, but yeah, it was a sort of funny incident. That's you know, uh, once I asked in my class, uh, I I wrote C L. Okay. okay. I asked students how many carbon atoms are there. They asked. They said one. One. <laughs> Then I wrote Na sodium. How many so, uh, nitrogen atoms are there? They said one. I asked. Okay. If Coulomb's law was given by Coulomb, who gave Abbau's principle? They said Abbau. <laughs> <laughs> that's these kind of answers we get in the classes. So that's nice. Yeah. Uh, so guys, this was Sonali Ma'am for you, right? She is going to join us on this particular channel for the subject chemistry, right? She is going to be with me as well as HSP sir, right? uh so the plan which we have made for all of you relate to the need 2025 and 2026 uh on for this particular channel particularly right we are coming up with that uh, particular plan soon we'll let you know exactly on which dates at what time ma'am is going to take session at what at what time i'm going to take session hsp sir ambika ma'am yavar sir will give the complete planner and we'll make sure quality content which we have been known for till now that never gets compromised right uh so i'll see you all in the live sessions and in the upcoming videos you'll get get to know about the schedule etc etc which we are coming up with for all of you so with this we are taking a leave so ma'am it was nice meeting you same here sir right <laughs> so take care guys god bless you all and love you all